Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And this is with the latest update, the Meeps Mandatory Recreation Pack. And I'm going to be going into a bit of that today. Last episode we got through some of the new stuff. Uh, but we we're, didn't play around with this last time, the Vertical Wind Tunnel. Pretty easy to set up actually. And interestingly, uh, the hair on the dupes disappears when they get in here. Oh, and their bodies too. <laughs> Uh, still a little bit of a bug there, but it's it's pretty cute. And this thing gives them a pretty good buff. I think it's plus five. Plus five to morale. We'll double check that once, uh... Once they get out of here. <laughs> they can't breathe in here. There's, there's no, uh... No oxygen at the moment. I'm gonna have to suck some of the CO2 out of there. Um, I didn't have these set up last time. The beach chair. They're pretty cool. They get a little bonus. Um, they get even more of a... A morale bonus if they're underneath a light here. So I've set up some duplicate motion sensors. And they're hooked up into an ore gate here. So if a dupe is in with the, within the vicinity of this one or this one, these sensors, then they kind of cover the whole area here. And then the light will turn on. That'll save us a bunch of power. And hopefully we can see the dupes get on there and sit on the chair. Right now only the center chair gets enough light to allow them to get the super buff where they put their shades on. Pretty cool though. The sauna I never really got working. Um, because I haven't set up steam yet. But the uh, soda fountain I got going. Now all I was missing last time was like some canisters full of uh, CO2, which I did up up this way. Let's head up here. Uh, the save lag. Yeah. The save lag is actually so bad, I think it you can't hear me when it's uh, recording. But I do have it set to only save so many, I think every 10 cycles or something. So yeah, I added a ga uh, gas canister filler here. I think it was adding CO2. I just realized I'm not sending much CO2 up there anymore. Very little. I should probably fix that. Actually, there used to be a lot of CO2. I guess we've just cleared it all out. I'm not sure why um, it's all gone now, because it was really piling up before. I think probably because we're not creating as much down here. Yeah, that would be part of it. I added some carbon skimmers down here. That's helping to suck up a bunch of the CO2. We're also... Okay, I did a bunch of stuff off camera. As you can probably tell, hundreds of cycles have gone by. Uh, what have I done? I moved the power stuff down. I had natural gas generators up here, and petroleum up here. And a lot of the heat was just kind of leaking up here. So I wanted to put it in an insulated room. And I've seen other people do this. They build their power buildings out of steel. And then they get them hot enough to actually make steam, and then delete the heat with a steam generator. Steam turbine. I haven't actually been able to get these up over 100 degrees. They're at 97 right now. Um, and they're in a vacuum. I would have thought that they'd be like overheating by now, but... They haven't. Similar story down here. I was going to try to get these really hot and basically get the polluted water to turn into steam. No such luck. But each one now is, has its own little room. And we're doing the uh, the power upgrades power control station. I wasn't a big fan of these in the past. But you can you can choose what metal you want. And I've got tons of lead. So I think it's worthwhile to, to boost these up. We're getting uh, 1.2 kilowatts out of them instead of the regular 800 watts, so pretty good. I'm going to speed the game up here. Um, okay, what else have I done? Uh, down here, this thing, this, I kind of let all that water leak into here because I wanted to be able to have a bunch of it around, but I kind of had second thoughts about that. So what I'm trying to do is drain this tank, and then I'll switch over to this pump here, and we'll just tear away this wall. And then whenever we need um, salt water, we'll just suck it out of there. We'll have a little bit of storage, but not really much. That saves us from having all this water around here. And we could also store it in a tank. I might set up a series of tanks, maybe even right here. Maybe like five tanks or something, just as a bit of buffer for the salt water. We're not using it up very fast, and that's why it's... What? That's why I'm doing this. And it's going in here, and most of the salt water is getting turned into clean water that's making oxygen up here. And the rest is going down to the bottom to uh, allow us to get oil. I'll just quickly jump down there. 
So yeah, these places, and these were overfilling because I wasn't using the oil fast enough. So that's where the water's going. There's three of these set up. There's one here, there's one over here, and then there's a third one right here. So plenty of oil for our needs so far. What else is going on? Uh, I put some kind of channels down here to let the oil and hot stuff drip down. But uh, all the oil that dripped down here just froze. I was thinking of trying to thaw all this out, but it's probably going to take a very long time. What else have I done? Uh, lots of stuff off camera. This uh, cooling unit I added because I wanted to cool down the oxygen that was going into the base. Looks like we're sending a bit of CO2 in there too. Even though this is all... this is not sealed off. This should probably be sealed off right here. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. It's pretty easy to do. We'll just put a door here. I'll probably make it out of gold. Cause it, could get, it probably won't get warm, but... So this is your standard cooler setup. Um, I made a vacuum first with this pump. Just shot the air out of there. We got a thermo aqua tuner made out of niobium because it could get pretty hot in here. Steel is probably good enough, but I went with niobium. I'm also checking the temperature of the coolant before it goes in. So I'm saying don't go below negative 50. Because I actually don't want to freeze the area. I just want it to be nice and chilly. And depending on how cold the base gets, I might adjust that. And then the the water that was in there... I, add, I added some water through this little valve here. And then once there was enough water in there, I just turned that off. And now all the water comes from the steam, goes into the turbine, and dribbles back out through a radiant pipe to try to cool this area, but it's actually probably just heating the area, now that I think about it. And then instead of super coolant, I didn't have any super coolant at the moment, so I just used ethanol. Ethanol is not the greatest, but it does allow you to go down to negative... Let's see here, freezing point negative 114, so it can go really cool. But it's a uh, specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity aren't great. Super coolant's way better. So that's that. That's keeping our oxygen area cool. And it's actually going to cool down this area too and kind of the surrounding area. Which is nice. And it's kind of almost free. The steam turbine makes up 800 watts when it's running and we had the, we had the excess power anyway. So it's all good. I changed this a bit. So up here, uh, I set this. I was making way too much fertilizer, and I had a whole bunch of fertilizer. So what I did was say, uh, make up to five thousand, and then once we hit five thousand, disable the fertilizer maker. So that way we always have a little bit of storage ready to go with fertilizer, and then we're not using all our phosphorite to make fertilizer because I was kind of running low on phosphorite. And that reminds me, I switched one of these, two of these hatch farms. I was drowning in hatches, so I turned this, this into a Dreco farm, and this into a Dreco farm. And I gotta get some mealwood in there, actually. Uh, let's copy this. Hopefully it's... Oh, the ladder's in the way. Probably too warm in here. Actually, it might be okay. We still have one hatch farm. And we got lots of overage. All the I actually recently killed off all these hatches. There was about 30 of them in here. We we're great on food. Tons of food. We got some Dreckos running around the base here. <laughs> we'll let them run around. That's fine. I still have my Bristle Blossom here. But I also have Bristle Blossom growing over here. And I'm having them manually enter this. Just because I wanted them to... Not have I didn't want to pump water in because I didn't want a bunch of hot water in here. And notice this bug here. It flips flops the temperature back and forth. It's weird. It eventually stabilizes, but that's a bug I gotta report. What else is going on? Okay, up up in space. Actually, did this uh we gotta really get some oxygen in here. The CO2 really has no place to go. Down here. Let's trim this off. 
want the CO2 to be able to fall down here. And eventually make its way down to the bottom somehow. That's not going anywhere. I guess I could join this up, but that's not a really huge concern right now. Probably add a bit more airflow here. We could probably pump some oxygen in here too. We got lots of extra oxygen, so let's just do a quick... Quick oxygen line right here. So that they can breathe. That should kind of push the CO2 down a bit. Now upstairs, we're doing... Um, added a bunch of rockets. So originally we had our hydrogen rocket right here. Which is actually out on a mission. 90% of the way there. It's all going all the way up here. Let's see. I was going to planets that I hadn't been to yet, so we're up at the helium giant. We're grabbing uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid water. Don't really need the water, but the hydrogen's kind of nice. And when the rocket gets back, it sends that water and hydrogen into this tank. And then from here, I filter out the liquid hydrogen using this liquid filter. Actually, what temperature is this thing? It has no cooling, so eventually this will overheat. The water we just dump out into space, and the liquid hydrogen goes back into the tank. So kind of, we get some of the hydrogen back that we spend to send the rocket out. But once it's back, I think I'm going to take the tank off, reconfigure the rocket, and send it out to the very end of the map, which will end the game way the heck out to the... I've never actually ended the game before. All the way out to the Temporal Tear. And that'll take a, lo a very long time. Something like 50 cycles. Probably won't get to it this episode, but we'll send it off and see what goes on. So there are a few achievements still left to do. Let's check the colony summary here. We have, some of them we can do, some of them we can't do. So Critter Whisper, Tame a uh, Puffed, and Tame a Gassy Moo. We could potentially do those, but I'm not going to this playthrough. Uh, we could build another Nature Reserve. That should be easy to do. What else do we got here? Tame a Gassy Moo. Uh, we, like I said, we could do it, but I'm not going to. We'll do that some other playthrough. Uh, down the hatch. I didn't make any uh, smooth hatches, but we could. Um, that would take a while. I'm not going to do that one, though. Uh, this one's actually probably pretty challenging. Have auto sweepers complete more deliveries to machines than duplicates over five cycles. So basically, we'll just... We could just tell all the dupes to do nothing for five cycles. Deliveries this cycle. Auto sweeper six, duplicates 42. Interesting. Yeah, we could try to do that one. And then job suitability... Basically, yeah, for 10 cycles in a row, have every duplicate in the colony complete at least one chore while wearing exosuit. Wow. That one's probably easier to do early game before you have a ton of dupes, because otherwise you're going to have to have a ton of exosuit docks. Uh, I probably will not try to do this. Dupes completed. We got 15 out of 27 this cycle. Yeah, it could be rough. Let's get the uh, wildlife reserve out of the way. That should be pretty easy. I think I might have a spot for it already. Let's go here. Okay, let's see. That's a nature reserve. Actually, this might this could be a nature reserve, I think. Let's use granite. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Yeah, let's use granite. Might, might not be big enough. Can't remember what size that nature reserve has to be. Size 120. And I think we need a certain number of plants in there. What do we need? A four wild plants. Hmm. What is this one? Nature reserve, nature reserve. 
nature reserve. That one's not gonna cut cut it. Where else do we have a bunch of plants around? You know what? We could probably turn this into one, maybe. Even though it's a pip farm right now. Let's try to stick a sign in there. Let's see what happens. What's the size again? Minimum 32. This is... 51. Yeah, that should work, as long as we can get it to be a nature reserve and not a park. Remove conflicting buildings. Okay, what? Nature reserve. What else? No industrial machinery. Okay, the heater can go. Heater can go. Don't need that really anymore. I wonder if this is considered... We'll get rid of the incubator. We'll just get rid of everything. We're going to put it back. We'll see which one triggers it. Okay, there we go. Nature Reserve. Colony achievement earned. Sweet. I love ticking those boxes. What else can we do here? These two are hard. And we got to do it in the first hundred cycles. So we failed. The, uh... Eating all meat, eating all veggie. Pretty tough. Probably easy if you start from the beginning, but not uh, not at this point. Impossible now. Super sustainable, we can't do because we've already gone carbon fuel. Yeah, any other ones I want to take care of? Home sweet home. What do we need for this? Stored minion morale nine. I don't even know what this... Refers to stored minion. There's some dupe or animal that's not happy enough. Uh, this might be a bug. Stored minion. That seems like a bug. Oh, stored minion morale 27. You know what? These might be dupes that are on the rockets. I think that might be the case. And we got to build a great monument. That we can do. That's one of the things I wanted to do this episode. We have the materials. Let's just see what we got here first. We have salt water. Reject that. No thanks. So where where to put that great monument? I'm thinking of maybe doing it up here near the top of the base. I've never built a complete one before, so this will be new. Monument base. Oh, it can be steel or obsidian. Oh, interesting. I was thinking we could do steel, but... You know what? Let's try obsidian. I'm curious what this is going to look like. Are we going to have enough room? Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough room there, so maybe over here. Maybe down here. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do it here. Right there. I think that'll work. Uh, can we mop this up first? Actually, they can do it from this side. I want, I kind of wanted them to use this ladder. But I don't think I want them out here, actually. No, I don't want them outside. So we'll build a ladder here for them to scaffold it up. In a nice straight line. I don't think they're going to be able to get in there. Insufficient resources steel. Okay, I thought I was building it out of obsidian. Hmm, maybe it uses both. Let's see. Oh yeah, it needs both. Okay. I think I have to dig this out first and then provide some room. We'll see how far they can get here. Dig all this out. Should have enough room. Probably add some scaffolding here. We can tear this down after. As long as they don't get stuck. 
And I think we'll have enough steel. We had enough to start there, so... I'm not sure if you can build it out of just steel initially. Looks like it can only be obsidian. I could be wrong though. I haven't really played with this feature at all. But you can mix and match the, the uh, materials to see different statues. Okay, while they're building that out, hopefully they don't get trapped. Um, I changed this up here. So notice... I, I was using jet suits last episode down near the bottom of the base, but that meant they could they could traverse the whole top of the map in jet suits, and it was just causing way way too much lag. So what I did instead was just allow them to run around without jet suits, so they're basically unprotected all the way up here, and then they come through a little oxygen chamber here, which is actually scalding scalding hot now. I guess some regolith fell down here. How the heck did this get here? I don't even know. I guess when I just deconstructed this, it fell down. That's a bummer. Okay, we'll have to sweep that up and then cool this area back down. Yep. So they're probably gonna get burnt as they run through here, but then they get in their jet suit and then they can only access the rocket area in their jet suits, which is nice because then we don't need scaffolding and gantries and all the stuff out here. And they're able to hold their breath while they're up here. I also extended the tube up here so they get up quicker. I might just put a wheeze ward in here. Just to cool this down. Like we have a... Oh, obstructed by back wall. Oh. Okay. Let's stick it right there instead. Probably lose some oxygen as they do that. Okay, we got the big petroleum rocket here. And we got some carbon dioxide solid, which we don't really need. This... Oh, scalding. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay, they'll survive. They get a little bit burnt. And then they go, go and heal up. Oh, this stopped cooling down. Okay, this, this was working fine for a very long time, and then it stopped working. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. I'm not quite sure how water got in here either. Hmm. Anyway, we've got enough hydrogen and oxygen to, uh, get off the planet for a final time. There's these two little stubby rockets here that I built, uh, just really simple. One petroleum tank, one um, liquid oxygen tank. That's just sucking up all this liquid oxygen. And then it's the automation is set to just make it go forever. Same with this one. Okay, oh, they must have gone in here for something. I think I locked them out of here, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hot around this area. Let's make sure no one is uh, too injured here. Yeah, they're okay. Health 84, they'll, they'll be fine. As long as they don't stand around here like little the little idiots that they are sometimes. Okay, unreachable dig. And we need more steel. Unreachable dig. Well, they dug it all out here. Uh, hmm. You'd think they'd be able to build it just from here. Let's try that again. Should free up a bunch of steel, and then we're gonna just build it again, but we can't, because we use some steel somewhere. Where are they taking that steel? Let's try to make some more. What are we missing here? Oh, I dismantled my uh, refinery because this <laughs> my coolant got too uh, 
too hot, and it started to break the machine. What could we use instead? You know what, we could cool it down up here. Chuck it in there. Or we could use something else like oil. I just realized my oil is broken here for some reason. I think I was doing some repiping and just didn't quite finish. We can use the oil. So that's what we'll do. Let's cut this off. Cut that off, cut that off. This one's okay for now, so. Yeah, I think we'll use some of the oil for coolant. Kind of like that. And we got to build another refinery. Stick that right here. Getting some good lag still. That'll go in there and then out. It'll be hot oil. And we'll cram that right in there. And we'll just disconnect this. Some oil is going to fall down to the bottom, but that's okay because that's where the oil came from. That should allow us to do some refining here without the oil boiling. We might have to do a little bit of mopping here. Actually, that's fine. And we're going to do ooh, iron to steel forever. We got, we don't have much lime left, actually. Plenty of iron, plenty of refined carbon. We're really low on lime. We might have to go down and get some lime. How much steel do I need? Let's check here. How much do we have? 7,232. Hmm. Pretty close. No liquid output. They're almost done with that. Let's make this a priority nine. But not the actual stuff. Should be eight. Okay, there they go. Okay, let's go find some fossil real quickly. Real quick, like. I think I had some left. There's some here. Let's get up here. Oops. A little bit everywhere here. Let's do... Dig that out. Maybe get that little nib. Okay, that's good. A little bit up there. Oh, we can get this pretty easily. And I guess we could get this piece here. And a little bit over here. That should do us for the steel we need. Oh, there's another good chunk here. Grab some of that. Oh, and there's even more down there. Let's, let's even this out here. That should get that bit. bit here. Unreachable. Okay, that should do us for steel, I think. What geyser do we have here? Volcano. Oh yeah, the volcano. I never really worked with the volcano. Didn't really need it. Maybe next base we'll uh, play with the volcano a bit. Okay, let's check on our rocket here, because I want to get... Oh, it's almost back. Big red H2. Almost back. So we gotta get this monument built before the rocket gets back. Or gets sent back out. So hopefully we can do that. We'll just keep getting some random stuff here. Let's check the... Let's zoom out here a bit. Alt-S goes into screenshot mode. We'll zoom out all the way. Let me actually pause it. 
Actually, it can run. So let's unpause. We'll slow it down, though. So we managed to heat up a good chunk of the base here. Uh-oh. I better go check on that, just in case. Actually, you know what? If they die, they die. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, so managed to heat up a good chunk of the map. And these little pockets here with the geysers. Pretty nice and warm up top as well. Check out some overlays here. Lots of oxygen areas. This is the power overlay. I kind of moved my heavy watt wire over here. It was going straight to the base before and causing some bad decor. So now it goes around the back. And, oh, materials overlay. <laughs> Craziness. This is my the liquid pipe overlay. Kind of messy, but not too bad. Uh, gas pipes. That's pretty much it. What else do we got here? Decor. Decor is good in the base, except for this bottom left corner. Pretty happy with that. Germs. Plants. Not very exciting. Rooms. Let's go check out the rooms here. Whoa. Got a couple medical areas, hospitals, massage clinic, a couple of great halls. A couple of stables, our four nature reserves now. These mushrooms have been feeding us a lot of mushrooms. Fried mushroom is a good chunk. And I I wasn't actually cooking them all, so the, the calories are going to inflate even more as they turn mushrooms into fried mushrooms. Got our one bathroom. This has served us well. All we needed was three bathrooms for 27 dupes because of the way the shifts work. I'll quickly look at the shifts. I actually haven't adjusted the shifts in a while here. Ah, uh, yeah, we should probably even this out even more. Amazingly, it works. Uh... Amazingly, it works. Let's put some more people down here. Maybe there. Okay, what do we got? Five. Five, six, four, six. Five, five. That should be fine. It was fine before, but now it's more fine. They do have quite a bit of break time. That's why they're able to get to the loo. Guess we could charge up someone's brain here. Let's get Beardo in there. Good Beardo, where are you? Beardo's probably taking a snooze or something. Pop your drums. Oh no. At least we got oxygen kind of in here now. But they're probably going to run out of air. Yeah. Oops. Maybe I should put a carbon skimmer down here. Just eat up all this. Yeah, let's put a carbon skimmer in there. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, let's stick that there. Steel. I don't want to use steel. I'm kind of running out of steel. We do have... Fresh water over here I can use. Actually, you know what? We have a carbon skimmer right here. I think I might just pump the CO2 down there. It's probably easier. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to suck the CO2 out of here. And send it down to the carbon skimmer. We'll just do that. Probably shouldn't use copper ore for that. It'll probably overheat. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. This needs power. That's probably fine. Pop that up a bit so it gets done today. Okay, that should clear that CO2 out of here. Add a bit more airflow.
surfing away. Oh, I just missed it. Here's Otto. Th this little animation they do with their hands is so, so cute. Very weird. But they like it. We gotta get someone sitting here though, because then we can see the, uh, where the sunglasses. Okay, CO2's getting, getting rid of there. That's good. That should suck all this out of here. I think our launch is, our launch is back. Our lunch is back. Our rocket's probably back. Okay, that little stubby one just came in. It should fill up really quickly and just auto-launch. After it dumps this cargo here. And... She's off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to reconfigure this. It already took the hydrogen out, so that's... Good. We're going to take that out. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct the command capsule. And hopefully I don't hit the bug where the astronaut can't get back in without reloading the game. Because that would be a disaster. And we gotta actually get hydrogen in there, so let's turn this on. There we go. Release the hydrogen. Because I don't think we can get a rocket to the temporal tear with this liquid cargo tank on it. We could try it, we'll see. We'll fill it up and see how far we can go, but I'm pretty sure we gotta get rid of this. Get rid of that first. So we're gonna fill these tanks all the way. Three, three full hydrogen tanks, one full oxygen tank, and just the command capsule, and hopefully we can make it to the temporal tear and finish the game. Win the game. Yeah, as you can see, I've done many, many missions here. We've got tons of little thing, little trinkets here. I haven't bothered to get them. Archaic tech. Actually, I've never seen this one yet. Interesting. I, yeah, I've not seen this one. No database. Hmm. They look like VHS types. Got a percolator with a, looks like an alien in it. Maybe? It kind of looks like a fish. Tons of trinkets. Uh, you can't store these in storage, though. You can only put them on a pedestal. Oh my gosh. You can tell I've done a lot of missions here. Oh my gosh. Got a million blenders and saxophones. It's probably causing some lag having all those things sitting around. Okay, we're almost full of hydrogen here. And we will launch that rocket. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, I'm not going to finish the game. This episode. We're going to have to do it next time. Because the rocket's going to take a very long time to get there. But I think it's full. It's now full. So we can turn this off. And let's see how far we can go. Big Red. How far could you get? You can't quite get there. So you can get to the volcanic planet, but not the temporal tear. Okay. So what we gotta do, take these off, and then rebuild the top. Hopefully get a dupe in there, and then launch this puppy. And while they're doing that, let's uh, go back down. Try to get our mon monument going here. Should have enough steel. Yep. Oh! What do we... Oh, that's not the base. We want the base. Yeah, so... Try this again. I uh, just... I uh, see now they might not be able to... Get to it? Actually, no. They're getting to it. They're doing it. Might have to build a ladder here for them really close. Let's just see. Oh no, they're building it. I don't know what happened last time, but it's, uh, there it goes. Oh, I thought this would take forever to build, but wow, that was fast. Okay. We're gonna have to clear some stuff away here. We got legs. We got some legs. What should we do for the next stage here? 
We got, uh... Oh, do these all need steel? Oh, they all need five tons of steel each. Okay, this might be a stretch. Um... We need a bunch of steel. Are we gonna get five tons of steel this episode? Probably not. Let's see here. Oh, we need way more lime. Hmm. Let's see, we got fossil to lime. Oh, we still have seven tons of fossil to get through. That's promising. Let's build another one of these just to get through that even faster. And let's go hunt for some more fossil. Got more here. Oh, we got a good chunk here. That's a really good chunk. Let's get up in there. A little tiny bit up there. We'll get it. We'll get it all. Might as well. Should probably use the materials overlay for this, but... We'll just build that ladders there. Oh, there's a good chunk up there too. Okay, we're going up here. Probably should not be doing this priority nine. Eight, eight is probably good enough. Okay, that'll get that chunk. And we'll see how that goes. Probably some stuff I missed here. A little bit here. A little bit up in there. Oh, we'll get it all. Strip mine it all. What priority are we? Priority nine, haha. <laughs> it's not really a nine. A little bit in there. We'll just leave that. Okay, we got the, the bulk of it. Let's check the material material overlay. I don't know if we can see fossil really easily. Um, that's probably mineral. Oh, that lights up pretty nicely, actually. Let's zoom out here. Where do we got big packet, big pockets of it? That's getting done up there. What about up here? Nothing. Only in the oil biome, I guess. Oh, there's a little bit up here, actually. What is it? What is all the fossil doing up here? Oh, we got another oil biome in here. Oh my gosh, this is all melted and dropped down. Oh, this broke. I had a little collection area here. I guess due to pressure, this all collapsed. Oh, okay. And who is scalding? Or you're fine. Oh, they had like a sparkle animation going on here. I think I missed them. Let's try to find them. Someone was sparkling with happiness. I think this is a... There's like four like super happy uh, animations now. Anyway, if we see them, we'll slow down and check it out. Dirt. Exciting. As you'll probably notice, I added some beds over here, too. And another great hall, which is broken at the moment, because of this is missing. And the bedroom's broken as well. And we got some massive lag. Maximum size 65. I mean 64. What are we missing here? Oh, we need to put one more tile in. It's slightly too large, the room. Okay, that's finally a great hall again. Good. Fixed. This is... This I was gonna fix, so let's do that. Hmm. 
Get some nice paintings in there. Spruce this up a bit. Okay, let's go back to our rocket here. Okay, no one deconstructed that. Uh, they have no suits. Where did all their suits go? I think they dropped their suits somewhere. Let's get a wart seat in here. They're going to burn when they go in there. That's really hot. Oh, they ran right through, though. <laughs> They're fine, as long as they go through there quickly. Okay, here we go. They're doing their jobs now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Makoon fell out. And there's nowhere to go. Oh, Makoon. Uh, we need to get you out of there. Uh, that's not good. Oh, my gosh. How can we get you out of there really quickly? I think... If we do that, and then... Oh, this is a disaster. It fell out. This is long before I had the... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> How can we do this without them suffocating? I hope we can do this and get them out of there. Oh! He had a jet suit on. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Makoon has an invisible jet suit. Of course. Of course he does. Where is he going? That's so cool. Okay, I gotta... I guess they can go through there. Where is he going? Oh, he's going up there with a jet suit. I guess that's fine, but not really. Whatever, that's fine. Let's get the top of this rocket back on. Right, like that. And maybe we, maybe we'll be able to launch this here. Launch it, but we won't be able to get it all the way to where we want to go. Now the problem with... I was going to put exosuit docks up here. So they could run up here with exosuits, drop off their suit, get in here. But it, it gets all messed up and they drop their suits and they don't replace them. And I'm sure there's a way to get around it. Other players have done it. I didn't want to monkey around with it, so I just let them run up here without any clothes on. Or any uh, suits on. Okay, we should have this rocket top on soon. I'm a little bit concerned about in here. But no issues yet. It's still working. This hasn't broken, luckily. It may, though. You know what? We could dump some ice in here. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. Except the dupes will burn themselves. Hmm. Which won't be good. Let's try it. We'll put a... Oh, we can't do that because we already got a background building. Okay, that won't work. What about an ice sculpture? That would work. We will try that. Maybe they'll be able to build it from here and not get fried. Okay, we need a new... We need Mokun to come back. Get in that rocket. And hopefully they can just fly in there without the gantry and without me reloading the game. There's a bug. Oh, yeah. 
Who's burning? Jari's burning. Oh no, Devin. Get her there. Oh no, everyone's scalding. Oh, May. May. Run away. Okay, that should melt. Really quickly. Okay, we got our... Oh, we got our Astron assign, assigned, but I'm a little bit worried. They're not actually going to get in there. And then they just got in there, so that's all good. So I think we can go... This will put a bit of a... Light a bit of a fire under our, our butts, because... Uh, Oh, we got a new rocket name. Okay. Now we can go to the Temporal Terror. The launch mission. How many cycles? What? What? That's not what I wanted. Oh no. <laughs> I thought we actually had to get there. This shows how much of a noob I am. I didn't want to end the game yet, but uh, okay. Let's proceed and see what happens. Oh, okay, that was cute. That's not what I was expecting, but uh, our home world in this universe is gone, replaced by the skeleton of a planet and a wound in the sky. But I hold out hope that other worlds exist out there, tucked away in other dimensions. I sent my duplicate through the temporal tear, carrying that hope on their shoulders. Perhaps one day they'll find a place to call home and begin a thriving colony all their own. Okay, that's awesome. Huh, yeah, I didn't plan to end things this episode, but... Uh, because I thought it was going to take 50 cycles to get there. The only other time I tried this out was way early on when they added it to the game and I did it in debug mode. So in debug mode it's instant and there, I, there wasn't all this stuff here. Because it was still early access preview stuff. Uh, okay. We did it. Error, please restart the game. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, well. That was a fun series. Um, I kind of didn't like the layout of the base in some ways. So I'm kind of glad that I'm done with this map. And it was extremely easy because it was Rhyme where everything is frozen. Super easy. So maybe I'll try the... I haven't tried the Oasis, Oasis map or the Magma map. I might do that. But I'll probably take a little bit of break from the game. I might uh, restart the Dude uh, Save My Base series because I've gotten some submissions for people who need help with their base. So I'll probably start that up. And it's a little bit change of pace. And we can still play with some of the new stuff uh, during those. And there's a whole bunch of games I want to play other than Oxygen Not Included. So expect those to be coming up. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.